so back to a new episode. Uh, finally, something where we get something done. I hope you enjoyed the shot last time of the shop and all the work that we do there. Uh, but we're back here at MRV, uh, where Geert Jan has something really nice to show us crankwise. Uh, we told you in a previous episode, or Ruud told us, that our uh, 964 crank that came out of the Phoenix engine wasn't usable. Uh, we finally have all the bits and pieces together. The, so we're going to continue in, in Dutch, because that's what Geert Jan prefers. Geert Jan, wat hebben we gedaan? Waarom duurde het zo lang? En wat gaan we vandaag doen? Nou, vandaag gaan we de krukkels hebben een andere krukkels voorgepakt, omdat de originele de tappen te ruw waren. Dan moeten we slijpen. Dat gebeurt normaal gesproken op die machine. Maar Jan heeft voor gekozen om een nieuwe as te pakken. Nou, dat is deze as dus. Die gaan we dadelijk nieuw balanceren. Dat gebeurt daar op die machine, op een balanceerapparaat. Dat zal een collega van mij doen, omdat ja, ik kan niet alles. Dus dat is eigenlijk het verhaal. Oké, okay, uh, de reden inderdaad is dat we de uh, nieuwe krukkels hebben gekozen, is omdat de tappen te ruw waren voor een uh, motor die veel toeren moet draaien, wil je zoveel mogelijk vlees of zoveel mogelijk ja. uh, uh, van de origineel niet, niet heel laag over hebben. Uh, daarom hebben we gekozen voor een GT3 krukkas, ook omdat we nog pouter uh, rots hadden en daardoor wat meer vrijheid hebben. Dit is een gloednieuwe GT3 krukkas van geleverd door Alpo. Um, de krukkas zelf is vrij standaard, komt zo aan. Uh, het wiel wat de pomp aandraait uh, heeft Philip overgezet en omdat wij geen normale distributeur gaan gebruiken, hebben we hier een bus neergezet, iets lichter, iets makkelijker. En uh, de Serpentine Belt Kit van Cluet Engineering, die we hebben mogen leveren van Paul Geres, waardoor, waarvoor dank. Um, deze assembly gaan we balanceren. Wat is er speciaal aan de hele beeld en de spullen die we gaan doen, is een vliegwiel, wat we helemaal op maat hebben laten maken bij Peters Autosport. En in plaats van een RS vliegwiel en een normale clutch setup die we uh, 9 van de 10 keer op motoren gebruiken, hebben we een dual clutch van Tilton met een speciaal op maat gemaakt vliegwiel. Het is net iets lichter als een normale vliegwiel uh, van een RS. Ja. Uh, en het voordeel van de twee koppelingsplaten en een iets lichtere vliegwiel. Uh, wat ook anders is, is in de versnellingsbak zit normaal een hevel om het druklager eruit te duwen. En bij deze koppeling hebben we een hydraulisch lager, dus moderner, betrouwbaarder. Uh, en deze hele assembly gaan we vandaag fijn balanceren. So, um, Vincent is, going, is assembling the crank right now. What we're going to do is put everything that is rotating and solid uh, and attached to the, to the crank, and we're going to fine balance it. Every part of this uh, has already been uh, balanced by itself, but when you put a rotating assembly together with bolts, uh, rings, and that kind of stuff, we want to make absolutely sure that when the crank is spinning at 8,000 RPM, um, that it, it doesn't vibrate, it doesn't have any weight differentiation in it because when it spins and it would be heavier on one side, it starts to pull to that side. So we want to make sure it's absolutely fine balanced. Uh, all of the components by itself are already balanced. So uh, the pressure group from the uh, clutch, um, the crank, the wheel, the um, flywheel, everything has been balanced completely separately. Uh, and now Vincent is going to assemble the crank just like we would in the engine and he's going to fine ba balance the whole assembly so when it is in the engine it is absolutely perfect and doesn't have any uh, b yeah, balance issues. <laughs> so while Vincent is setting up the balancing uh, equipment uh, it has to be specified to the length of the crank and everything. He just uh, set up the complete assembly, um, put the bolts together. Uh, and for me, this is also the first time to see a crank actually being balanced. So I'm going to ask him a few questions and uh, we'll make a summary of, of what we're going to do. There's a few things really important during balancing a crankshaft. Uh, that is 
mainly to, mainly has to do with uh, the crankshaft having, having to be perfectly balanced and all of the other components being balanced separately as well, then adding everything together. Uh, this is because if you would not do that, then the every time you would change a flywheel, pulley or anything related to bolting onto the crankshaft, like a pressure group, um, you would have to redo the entire uh, crankshaft and have to take it out of the engine. So the crankshaft has been and all of the components are balanced before and this is the fine balancing process. Uh, everything has to be completely as it would be in the engine. Everything has to remain as it is going to be in the engine. Um, you can see here everything being set up with, with the pulleys with everything that is remotely bolted onto the crankshaft. We can't use separate pieces like pr pressure plates and that because those move independently from the crankshaft so you can't balance them uh, with the crankshaft itself. This is just a small check for the crankshaft and all of the components that you could that, uh, that are bolted together and we are talking about grams here so this uh, starting point is seven tenth of a gram and in the end we got it down to uh, about half of a, of a gram which in the complete setup uh, at 24 kilograms of the of the crankshaft is, is next to nothing and thanks to this we can now safely wrap it up to 8,000 RPM. Uh, okay, so uh, we've balanced the whole assembly to win within half of a gram. Uh, this is a slightly older machine, but uh, Vincent has assured me that up to 8,000 RPM we should be good now. Uh, so just to give you a slight notice, it's 0.7 of a, of a gram right now that the whole assembly is out of balance. So I think this whole assembly, how many kilograms of a kilogram? Uh, I think it's about 10, 15? 30 kilograms in total, mm -hmm. 25 to 30 kilograms. Uh, and there's 0.7 of a gram in difference. Uh, we took a little bit off the, off the crank just to make it a little bit better. Uh, but uh, for now, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, and it's uh, almost time for assembly. Uh, so after weighing it, uh, I found out three things. Um, all crankshafts compared to a GT3 one are quite heavy. Uh, I'm quite amazed at how heavy the assembly is because it's about 24 kilograms complete as it is here with uh, the pressure plates or without the pressure plates but with, uh, with the pressure group. The pulleys, the drives, everything complete. Uh, and three, I really need to hit the gym because I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ruud and Ruud likes to tell other people when they're either working or not working and he thinks he's quite a funny guy but children don't be like Ruud. So guys here it is the finished assembly of the crankshaft completely ballast and ready to be mounted at JFT Engineering into our Phoenix built engine. Um, we're really happy that the complete assembly was less than five tenths of a gram. We hope you enjoyed the, watching the process, watching the people here working at MRV together with us, building awesome things. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe, and tell us what you think about the episode, and see you next time when it's time for assembly.